And good evening, high school softball fans, and welcome to Strongberg's of Franklin Park. Tonight, Big Time Sports bringing you another Big Time High School softball game. And it don't get any tougher than the 5 and 1 Cannot Battle Rockets coming to Tiger Town to take on a tough 5 and 1 Strongberg Tiger team. We are Big Time Sports. I'm the mellow tones of Charlie Jones, along with me tonight in the booth, Smoochie Jones, and on camera behind first base, Michaela Plant. So, guys, this is going to be a big one, and you can see the umpires and the head coaches out at home plate talking about it. We want to take care of our good friends from Chibo's Italian Restaurant in Waynesburg, our pre-game sponsor. So now with that, we're going to move right along because they're going to get things going here very quickly because of the incoming weather. So our keys to the game tonight brought to you by the good guys at the Buckeye Career Center. First of all, Let's check out the Rockets. The Rockets need to play good defense. The Tigers, they need to hit Massey Baker. Baker is really tough, and the Tigers have got to get runners on base. For both teams, runners will be very few tonight because Spidell for Strongberg and Baker for Cannot Valley, two of the very best in the entire state of Ohio. So there you have it, our Buckeye Career Center keys to the game. Yeah. Let's do the Connaughton Valley lineup. All right, let's take a look now at the Connaughton Valley Rocket lineup, and it looks like this. All right, Ava Williams will lead off at center field. Brax Braxton Nelson will be at shortstop. Massey Baker on the mound. Madison Kelly at third base. Delilah Williams behind the plate. Delaney Peters in left field. Jenica Fruity at first base. Kate Liggett, the DP tonight. Ariona Spano at second base, and Lillian Booth will be in the right field. There you have it, the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency starting lineup. So the Tigers, as you see, are taking the field. We are just about ready for the biggest game of this young season. Two state-ranked squads, the Strasburg Tigers and the Connaught Valley Rockets, both with only one loss, and believe me, those one losses for both teams were two big, big, really big programs. Connaught Valley got beat by Steubenville, Big Red the other night. Strasburg, in their annual Myrtle Beach trip, got beat by a very, very big, very tough Northmont squad. And there you see the hopes. There you see the, uh, the lady that will pull the sled tonight for the Tigers. This young lady, Amelia Spidell, on the mound, and she's one of the best in the entire state of Ohio. So with it, as Amelia Spidell goes, so goes the Tigers. Spidell last year in the state tournament, for example, 19 strikeouts in the state tournament game. So that tells you what Amelia Spidell can do. She is one of the best, if not the best, in the entire state of Ohio. Our first pitch tonight, compliments of the good guys from Mount Hope Fence. At Mount Hope Fence, they've got the inside on the outdoors. Thank you, Mount Hope Fence. First pitch, upcoming leadoff hitter is Ava Williams. Williams, the center fielder for Connaughton. First pitch of the ball game. That pitch is low and outside for a ball. Just want to thank the good people at Wayne Garage Door for taking care of our scoreboard. More than windows, stop by and see the good guys at Wayne Garage Door. Spidell with the pitch. It's going to be fouled off to the right side, out of play. So the count now one and one on our first hitter. Williams now, one and one. Here's the pitch down. Spidell will bring it with a count of one and one. That one is going to be fouled again out of play. Uh-oh, and it hits my truck. Wow, it hits my truck. Can you believe it? I'm going to send that young lady. Yeah, that's right, baby. How about the good guys at Haas Body Shop. I'm gonna have to get a hold of Haas 
body shop to get that big net taken out of our truck. Two and one, the count on the leadoff hitter, Williams. Spido gets the count, gets the pitch from Ella Gilkerson. Gilkerson, of course, the catcher behind the plate for the Tigers. Here's a pitch. Little dribbler, back to the mound. Spidell will pick it up, flip it to Reif and Snyder. Easy out, out, number one. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that a little slow grounder back to the box as Spidell will backhand it. We'll pick it up and very easily on the Denison Yard replay make the put out at first base. Stepping in, in the number two spot, Braxton Nielsen, the shortstop. Braxton Nielsen, only a freshman. This young lady at the plate, only a freshman, looks at a beautiful pitch, boom. Called strike right down the middle, baby. Big time sports bringing you big time high school softball tonight. And of course, we will be back here Saturday at Strasburg Franklin Park. A swing and a miss. Yeah, Spidell gets up early 0-2 on our hitter. We'll be back Saturday afternoon as the Tigers will take on the Triway Titans out of Wayne County, and that will be another live stream for us. 0-2 pitch. That one just a little bit high for a ball, so that'll make it two and one now on the hitter. This young lady, only a freshman, Braxton Nielsen. Got to be a pretty good ball player to step in there as a freshman. One out here in the top of the first inning. Here's the pitch. That one is low and not an even account at two. So two and two now on our hitter. Tigers coming in at five and one against a very tough uh, Canaan Valley squad at five and one. Well, that one is fouled to the right side. Nice pickup by the first base coach. <laughs> All right, so we'll go back and look at a 2-2 pitch now. I know, checking things out with her battery mate, Ella Gilkerson. All right, that one misses. That's going to mean a full count now. Uh, it's a full count now. That was close. Here we go. Second hit of the ball game. As work Spidell to a full count. Spidell brings it. Slow dribbler down to first base. Uh-oh, that's going to be an error. Wow, can you believe it? An error on the second batter of the ball game. Wow, and here it is again. Let's watch it go down to first base now. Wow, Canton handling at first base. So with one out and one on here in the top of the first inning. Stepping in now will be Macy Baker. Macy Baker at the plate. Now, not only can this girl throw a fastball, but don't give her anything good to hit. Because if Massey Baker gets a hold of one, uh, <clears throat> look out. There you see the shot from our first base camera. Runner at first base is uh, Braxton Nielsen for the Rockets, who reached there on an error by the first baseman. 0-1 pitch now to Macy Baker. Spidell. Swing and a miss. Wow, big swing. She was swinging for the upper deck on that one. Ball, strength. Right. 0 and 2 on a Baker. The Tigers in a big win tonight against the Rockets. That one is going to be foul, long foul ball. Down the first baseline, out of play. 
That one is going to roll right into the concession stand. So the ball girl has a way to go to retrieve that one. But Baker will stand in now with still an 0 and 2 count. That's a ball. One and two now on to Macy Baker. There you see the runner at first base. She reached on an error. Second hitter of the ball game. We've got one out here in the top of the first inning from beautiful Strasburg, Franklin Park. And we are the big time sports guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow, I saw that one sitting clear over here. Wow. Carly Clark, Carly Clark would have set that one. Here it is again, look at this pitch. Wow, you gotta like that pitch. Compliments of the Denison Yard. So stepping in with two outs and one on Madison Kelly, the third baseman. That one, low for ball one on Kelly. Don't forget, check our schedule on our website. Just click on schedule and check out the biggest and the best in the spring sports. A swing and a miss, one and one now on Kelly. Spidell already committed and signed, sealed, and delivered to Ohio Dominican University. Foul tip off the screen. Count still one and two now on a hitter. Uh oh, change up, got her at uh oh, she's safe at second base. Wow, thought they had her, but throw was off the mark to the wrong side of the bag and so we got a runner at second base now look at this this is gonna be yeah mm -hmm. she's in there so with a runner in scoring position in a two outs and a 2-2 two -two count on our hitter so my doubt now has to be careful All right, so that one, call that one now. One, two, say four, three on out number three. Second baseman. Yeah, let's check it out here. Here's the last out to the right side of the infield. Easy pick up, easy throw. And that will do it in the inning. So that's going to do it after a half an inning of play. We got a scoreless ball game with the Tigers. Coming up, and uh, speaking of the Strasburg Tigers coming up to the plate, why don't we take a look now at that starting lineup? Of course, the starting lineup, compliments of Matt Motice and Jake Troyer at the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency. The leadoff hitter, the pitcher, Amelia Spidell. Hitting number two will be the center fielder, Riley Becker. Three will be the shortstop, Olivia Spidell. Gilkerson, the catcher, in the fourth spot. Miley Reifer-Snyder at first base, hitting in the five spot. Ada Richards will come up. Ada Sibilla will also come up. Rayelle Watkins in left field, and then Sophia Seacrest in right field. So there you have it, our starting lineup for the Strasburg Tigers. All right, let's check this out now. Now, we gave you a cameo, a spotlight on Amelia Spidell, so we got to do the same thing now for the Connaughton Valley pitcher. This young lady is one of the best you'll see in high school softball. This is Macy Baker, the Connaughton Valley pitcher. And I'll tell you what, between uh, Macy Baker and Amelia Spidell, uh, <laughs> wow, both of them tough. Tough, tough. So, my prediction for this game is going to be you're going to see very few hits in this one because both pitchers will dominate. 
And here is the delivery by Baker. Getting ready to step in, the Tiger leadoff hitter. And Tiger pitcher, Amelia Spidell. The Tigers made their annual trip down to Myrtle Beach. I think came away like three and one after four games down there. Lost, a bit, lost to a big school out of Pennsylvania. But the way this spring weather has been, wow, it has been awful tough to get games in this spring. Throw down to second base, just about ready to go now. Well, I got a chance, I wanna thank Marty Miller at Miller Clothing and Shoes. From suits to work boots, if you wanna look your best, drive to downtown New Philadelphia. Tell Marty Miller, old Mellow Tones sent you in. That's Miller Clothing and Shoes. Tigers coached by Tom Spidell. Here we go. Spidell will step in against Baker. First pitch in the dirt. Looked like it slipped off the hand of Baker. So that'll be ball one now to the leadoff hitter for the Tiger. Who a swing and a foul back to the screen. That'll make it one and one now on Spidell. We'll be back here Saturday afternoon as the Tigers take on a very tough tri-weight Titan team. So stay tuned for uh, all that action coming your way on a big time sports. Well, change up. That one's going to go to the second baseman. And guess what? It's going to be an error on the second baseman. That was an easy ground out. But the second baseman couldn't get the handle. Check it out again as Fidel will reach on an error. This one right at the second baseman. So Spidell at first base. Riley Becker will come to the plate now. Becker the center fielder for the Tigers. Becker. Let's see what she does. Wow. Becker a slap hitter. At the plate. 0-1 oh, on a Riley Becker. Macy Baker looks, brings it, foul back, bunt attempt. Will go over the rocket dugout to make it an 0-2 oh, count now on a Becker. Now with an 0-2 oh, count. With an 0-2 count, I'm sending her to second base. Here we go. That one is going to be a foul ball. Bunted right into the dirt and uh, in the batter's box. So that'll be a foul ball. So Becker will come back now. Still 0-2 on the count. Big Time Sports bringing you 20 big time softball and baseball games this spring. So be sure to check out our schedule at BigTimeSportsOhio.com. Well, Becker again is going to foul it back, so Becker is battling Macy Baker on this trip to the box. The Rockets' only loss on the season to Steubenville Big Red. Here's the pitch. That pitch is high and away. One and two now on Becker. Macy looks. She brings it. That one is lowing in the dirt, and that one is going to be, and Spidell is going to stand up down at second base. That one was in the dirt. Catcher couldn't find it. So now we have a count. 
of two and two on a metric with a runner in scoring position at second base. Ooh, I'll tell you what was it started out as an 0-2 count is now three and two. We got ourselves a full count on the second hitter, Riley Becker. Spidell down at second base. Nobody out. Uh-oh, that one, she's gonna miss that one. That's gonna be a K on the day for Macy Baker. So Riley Becker will go down. Let's check it out again. Here it is. Well, she kind of slapped at it. She missed it. Replay, of course, compliments of the Denison Yard. Here we go now with Olivia Spidell, the Tiger shortstop. That one is going to go out of play, back on the tracks. Spidell is one of those hitters. She's a contact hitter, but if she gets a bat on the ball, it's going to go places. So an 0 and 1 count now on the Tiger shortstop. We have one out and one on. Oh. Wow, she should have jumped on that. She should have been all over that pitch. 0 and 2 now on Spidell. Wow, I thought she was gonna lay into that one. First inning, bottom of the first, one out. Runner in second. And there's one off the glove, and all runners are going to be safe. Oh, my Lord. Are you kidding me? Get her out of the game. Uh-oh. What, what have we got? We, got? we had a collision at first base. Motor over a collision of Spidell tried to round the bag, and the first baseman standing right there in front of the bag goes down to the dirt. Collision at first base. Well, she's up. She's around. She's going to be okay. That's good news. Don't want anybody hurt. Looks like she's going to make it. You going to call that a hit or an air? <laughs> well, all right, let's check out the replay now. Here it is. Here's the boom, right at the boom, off of her glove. Rose towards shortstop, and guess what? I'm going to give her a, a hit on that one. Okay, nine. So, runners at second and third that down with one out. Nine, Collision at first base between Spidell and the Connaughton Valley first baseman. But the first baseman for Connaughton is back in the game. She's okay, and we are thankful for that. So guess what? We got Ella Gilkerson now stepping in with only one out. We have two teammates on board. Home plate umpire back behind the plate now. Go nine. As Gilkerson steps in. A hit here would be a big one, particularly this early in the contest. So Macy Baker brings it. That one is high and outside for a ball. Gilkerson, the uh, Tiger catcher. That one is low and away from ball, so it's 0-2 now to Gilkerson, and I think Macy Baker knows not to give this one anything good to hit. Getting in that four hole, Gilkerson, there's a nice shot as you watch Baker wind. That one is outside again, so now it's 3-0 and oh now on our hitter. Well, will Macy Baker bring it? Let's find out. Here we go. Three balls. Boom, nice pitch. Uh-oh. 
wow, I thought it looked good from here, but apparently it wasn't good enough. Four straight pitches. Well, just missed the corner. All right, so a walk will load them up here in the bottom of the first inning, and stepping up now, Miley Reifenschneider, the Tiger first baseman. Reifenschneider with the bases loaded, one out. All the Tigers need to do is get the bat on the ball to put things in motion. Tigers got him loaded up here with only one out, bottom of the first inning. Macy Baker. That one is high and away. One and one now to count on the Tiger first baseman. If you swing the bat, good things happen in high school softball. That one is high. That is going to be, wow, all of a sudden, Macy Baker. That is seven straight pitches that have missed the plate. Seven straight balls from Macy Baker. And wow, I would have never thought that. Two and one now. Ooh, wow. That one caught the corner. Got to make it two and two now. On Reifenschneider. Swing the bat. Good things happen. Spidell at third. Will she come? Here we go. Wow, that just missed. We got another full count. Big pitch here by Macy Baker. We got a full count. Bases are loaded. We got one out, and here we go. Big pitch. That one is going to be fouled to the right side and out of play. So Rifer Schneider will come back to the plate. Full count. Here we go. That one, uh-oh, guess what? Can you believe, I would never believe if somebody would have said Macy Baker forced to run in. I would have never believed it. Wow. Yeah, let's take a look now at that last pitch. This is a ball four. There you have it on the Denson Yard replay. To the plate now, Ada Richards, the Tiger second baseman. So with two outs, first pitch is a ball now to Ada Richards. Richards, the uh, Tiger second baseman. Still looking at runners in at every base now. And here's another pitch by Baker. And I can't believe that somebody hasn't called timeout and walked out there and said, hey, how can I help you, my young friend? Richards awaits the pitch. Wow. All right, that one was a good pitch. Two and one now on Richards. A hit means a run. There it goes. Uh-oh, that's going to go to right field. That's going to score two. Here's a throw to the plate. It's going to be wide of the plate, and the throw down to third place will not go, and the Tigers go up three zip here in the bottom of the first inning. And Ada Richards. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make this a big play replay. Compliments of Domino's Pizza. Richards is going to hit a liner through the left side of the infield, and guess what? It's going to go into right field, so Richards with a hit and two RBI in her first appearance at the plate. All right, we got a three zip count now. 
Tigers up three zip here in the bottom of the first inning and stepping in now will be the third baseman. This is Addie Sibola for the Tigers. Tigers still with runners at second and third. Nice pitch, nice pitch by Baker. So the Tigers, wow, I can't believe the Tigers two hits in the first inning off of Macy Baker. That went in the dirt. Wow. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Now let's watch it again. This one was in the dirt, and I thought she was coming for third, but she thought better. The coach held her back, and it's a good thing he did because she would have been out at the plate. One and one. Shows bunt. Oh. All right, he called that a strike. Hmm? Yeah, one ball, two strikes now on Sibola. Runners at second and third for the Tigers. Well, I'll tell you what, Baker is in the dirt and still. Wow. Three runs on two hits already in the first inning. And Smooch, you're going to need to tell me how many walks she gave up. Uh-oh. That one is a called third strike. Never, ever take a called third strike. Here it is again. Watch this. A nice pitch by Baker. All right. Coming up now will be Rayel Watkins. Hmm? Rayleigh, okay. There's a strike on Watkins. Watkins is the left fielder. Baker again, working on the Tiger left fielder. That one is going to miss to make it one on one. This first inning is, you know, because of the problems Canton Valley's having here in the bottom of the first, it's taking a little bit of time. That one is high and away. Baker is having problems with her control now. Two balls, one strike. Two outs in the inning. Watkins against Macy Baker. 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Good swing by Watkins. I like the swing. Two and two now. Two-two pitch. Two outs. Baker brings it. That one is high. That's going to be a full count. Of course, you got first base open. Tigers with runners at second and third. There's the pitch from Baker. That one is going to be foul tipped off the screen. So Watkins still alive at the plate. We got ourselves a full count again, Smooch, right? <coughs> full count pitch, two outs, runners at second and third. That's low and oh, oh, wow, he called that one a strike. All right, so that'll do it. So the Tigers, wow, the Tigers jump on Baker real quick here in the mob the first inning. After one, three zip, Tigers. We'll be back with more after you watch this. Treat your family to the best in dining pleasure at Chibo's Restaurant in Waynesburg. The very best in homemade pasta, rigatoni, and spaghetti 
will delight your appetite. And the homemade rolls and bread are menu favorites. Visit Chibos once and you'll become a regular. Other popular items like chicken, ham, and veal parmesan highlight our menu. Take the short drive to great food at Chibos in Waynesburg. I wanted something that I could learn a little bit more about what I was passionate about. I wanted to learn a trade that would always be in demand. Buckeye has so many opportunities for everyone. You're here because you want to do what you came here to do. This is the best choice that I've made. Uh, I just think it's set me up to be a better person. Are you looking for an inexpensive way to identify your business? Or need custom embroidery for your coat or hat? Then why not try Swiss Tees in downtown Sugar Creek? We are the best. We are the least expensive screen printing and embroidery shop in Ohio. Look good and save yourself some money at Swiss Tees in Sugar Creek. Locally owned Alban Title in Dover is a full service title and escrow company. Our experienced staff has over 100 years of combined experience. The choice is yours. Choose Alban Title in Dover. Call for an estimate at 330-343-5800 or log on to albantitle.com. We are farmers. Daystar Power Sports and Equipment knows how to take care of our customers. Our shop is conveniently located in Minerva, Ohio. Come check us out for all your utility vehicle needs. When you do business with us, we look forward to making it a long-term business relationship by offering the best financing, service, parts, and accessories for your new or used purchase. Daystar Power Sports and Equipment can help you find the right ride for you. Stop in today. All right, welcome back to Strasburg Franklin Park. We are at the top of the second inning now. The Tigers wasted no time jumping on Kamat Valley. They got three runs on two hits and two Baker walks in the bottom of that first inning to get up three zip here in the top of the second. So the batting order now for the Kamat Valley Rockets leading off the top of the second will be Delilah Williams for Connaughton Valley. Williams at the plate. Only a sophomore. Wow, good swing, good pitch by Spidell. She went right after that when she jumped right on that but couldn't make contact. Delilah Williams. That one is a called strike, so very quickly now. Spidell jumps out 2 0 now. All right. Two strike pitch. Uh oh, that one is going to be foul tipped off the screen. Check out the score, it's three zip Tigers, top of the second on the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Slide out with an 0-2 count now on Delilah Williams. That one, ground ball to second base. Over the first, she's out. So call that one 4-3 on out number one. Here it is again, check it out on a Denison Yard replay. Routine ground ball to the Tiger second baseman. Throw over to first base by Ada Richards. 
Richards to Reifenschneider for the out. Smoochie, who do we have up? We got Delaney Peters. First pitch in there from Spied Up. A ball. Peters is another one of those long ball knockers. I saw Peters hit one last year that still hasn't come down to earth yet. So don't give her anything nice to hit. Foul ball. Even account at one. Delaney Peters. A senior. She's one of the seniors on this squad, but you know, Kanan Valley's got a nice mixture of new guys and old guys. Kanan Valley's got some freshmen that have a lot of talent. One on one now on Peter. Another foul ball in the exact same place. So, Smoochie, how can she do that two times in a row? She's thinking about it. All right, one and two now on Peters. We've got one out here in the top of the second. Big time sports, bringing your big time high school softball and baseball. And I'll tell you what, she threw that one right past Peters, put another K in the book for Amelia Spidell. Here's two outs now. Here's another look at that strike three pitch, a big swing and a big miss, a high hard one on Peters. Let's look now as Jenica Frutig comes to the plate. Frutig, the uh, first baseman. She's the one that had that collision with Spidell. Uh-oh, that one is going to get through. That's off the glove of Ada Richards. So, wow, that's a hit by the Connaught Valley first baseman. Nice hit to the right side, just, just out of the glove, out of the outreach of Ada Richards, the Tigers' second baseman. So two outs, one on. And to the plate now will come Kate Liggett. She is the designated hitter tonight. Liggett with a teammate on and two outs. Foul ball off the screen. Tigers were rained out last night. Tigers were were supposed to play Central Catholic, but of course uh, the rains they came again last night, and a lot of games got canceled. So the 0-1 pitch now. That's going to be 0-2, and, and that one is going to go over the tracks and might be in the parking lot of the Ramada Inn if it rolls far enough. So the 0-2 pitch. We have two outs. Spidell on the mound. Gilkerson behind the plate for the Tiger. Uh-oh, that's it. We'll see you later. Alligator, strike number three by Spidell. So not a whole lot happening in that inning. So let's take a break. When we come back, it will be the bottom of the second. We'll be back after you watch this. We all have something in common. 206 things, actually. And we at Cleveland Clinic care about every single one of them. From the tip of your finger to a brand new hip. Ohio's best orthopedic care will keep you going while keeping you safe. For every break and breakthrough, for every bone and joint. For every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic. Get the care you need when and where you need it. Visit clevelandclinic.org slash access. Discover the perfect blend of reliability and style in the 2024 Chevy Trailblazer at Ferris Chevrolet on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. Our dealership stands as your premier destination for the latest Trailblazer models, each boasting a range of impressive features and unparalleled durability. Don't miss out on the opportunity to secure the best deal. Hurry in today. Visit Ferris Chevrolet in New Philadelphia and experience the thrill of driving your very own Chevy Trailblazer. Selling your home is one of the largest transactions you will have in your lifetime. Sure, you could try to sell it yourself, but you can also cut your own hair, but why risk it? 
There are contracts, inspections, appraisals, financing, marketing, title work, and negotiating. Why not leave it to the professionals at Mac Insurer Realty? One of the few remaining locally owned real estate companies. As my granddaughter Mason says, Make the call! I'm Dr. Michele Ayono. At Advancing Athletics, our fuel move recover philosophy can help anyone be their best. Here's what thriving looks like. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. From high school to aging well, no one will take care of you and your kids better than us. What draws us together? What keeps us grinding long into the night? What drives us to excel? To give it everything we have? It's the moment. We're ready to show up. Are you? Help your athlete play college sports. Get next one. As a father and son duo, we've experienced a costly and stressful recruiting process. That's why we created Next One to save you time and money. Get nationwide exposure to college coaches, scholarship opportunities, and all recruiting tools. No more scattered resources. Connect with coaches faster. Here are real athlete testimonials. The app makes it easier to contact my position coach before and after any college camp that I attend. The Next One Sports app offers easy access to any college information. Try for free at nextonesports.com or download the app today. And welcome back to Strasburg Franklin Park, big time sports, bringing you big time high school softball tonight. Now, keep in mind, we do high school softball, we do high school baseball, we do college softball, we do college baseball. We have an agreement with the good people at Mount Union University. We do Mount Union baseball and softball games. First pitch in there to Seacrest. This is Sophia Seacrest. First hitter up here in the bottom of the second inning. Sophia, the right fielder for the Tigers. That one is a popped up. That might be out of play and it, wow, it just got out of play. Can you believe that? It got in between the dugout and the screen. That's gonna make it 0-2 on the Tiger right fielder. Baker, in that rough, rough first inning, gave up three runs on two hits and two walks. But she's 0-2 here to the Tiger leadoff hitter. Struck her out. Well, they struck her out. Check it out here. Here's the pitch. Tried to hold up on it, could not, so put a K in the books for Macy Baker as the Tiger pitcher, Amelia Spidell, will step in. Spidell, in her last trip, reached on an error and came around later to score the Tigers' first run of the ball game. So Baker against Spidell. Oh, nice swing by. Spidell, but can't connect. Good pitch by Macy Baker. Makes it an 0-1 count. Oh, nice pitch. Macy Baker brought the heat that time, and Spidell could not connect. So we got an 0-2 count here on Amelia Spidell. There you get a nice shot of Amelia Spidell. Watch this. 0-2 pitch. Uh-oh, that one is going to be in the dirt. That's going to go back to the screen for ball one. So one and two now on our hitter with one out here in the bottom of the second inning on the Big Time Sports TV Network. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! That one is off 
off the fence. Wow, that one almost got out, but I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a stand-up double for Amelia Spidell. Out about two more feet, and that one is out of here. So Spidell wraps one off the fence for a stand-up double. We gotta go back, we gotta watch that again. It's gonna be just as exciting this time as it was the first time you saw it, and watch it, boom, right off the fence and into second base now with a stand-up double. So we'll look at Riley Becker now. So with a runner at second base, Riley Becker will step in. Riley is the Tiger center fielder. Spidell got a pretty good set of wheels down there at second base as Baker brings it. Ooh. Called strike on Becker. Oh, one the count. That one is in the dirt. And of course, Spidell is going to boogie down to third base as the ball gets past the catcher to the screen. Here it is again. A lot of action here on the Denison Yard replay early. That one is in the dirt. Back to the screen. Spidell will now stand on the corner at third base with only one out. That one is in the dirt. That's gonna make a two of one now on a Becker. So Spidell at third base, one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Becker now with a two one count as Macy Baker. That's a foul ball bunt try. That'll make it two and two now on Riley Becker. Even count at two. Riley Becker awaits the pitch from Baker. That one is going to be in the dirt, and that's going to be a full count. A lot of balls tonight from Baker. She'll step back. She'll bring it now on. Uh-oh, that's going to drop. That one, I can't believe it. Look at this. She's going to get in there. She's going to be in the second base on that routine fly ball to right field. That is what you call hustle by Riley Baker. Wow. Wow, that is a single if I ever saw one. But watch the hustle here by Riley Baker. It's going to drop. You see it there, it's going to drop just over the infield, and Becker is going to get into second base with a double and an RBI as Spidell will come around from third. All right. So with that, Olivia Spidell, the shortstop. Wait a minute. They called her out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who called her out? Watch this. Watch this replay, and you make the call at home. She's out. She's out at first base. Compliments of the Denison Yard. Just got her at first base, so that'll be two outs now, but the Tigers bring another one across to make it a four-zip contest. Ella Gilkerson, the catcher. With Riley Becker at third base. So a hit means another Tiger run if she can connect on the Baker pitch. Outside and low. Makes it a two zip count now on Gilkerson. If you like college baseball or college softball, stay tuned to Big Time Sports because Mount Union is the name of the game at Big Time Sports. 
That one is outside. That'll make it three zip now. On Gilkerson. Now the good news, Smoochie, is that we are far away from the railroad tracks. The bad news is that the train's coming. Uh-oh, guess what? Wow. Baker, Baker again, and watch this pitch. Here it is. Well, I, that was almost there, but just missed the corner now. Another walk issued by Baker. That's Miley Reifenschneider. Wow, can you hear it? In my broadcast booth, as the train comes through Franklin Park. That one is high and away. Runner will go down to second base. Riley Becker still at third, so the Tigers with runners at second and third and two outs, and a ball one count now on Riefen Schneider. That one is low for another ball by Baker. So here in the early going, Tigers with a lot of runners on the base path. And four runs already in. Baker brings it. Ooh, nice cut, nice swing. Couldn't connect. Good pitch by Baker. Two and one now. On our hitter. That one just misses. That's going to make it three and one now. Tigers, five and one on the campaign. State champions the last two years in a row. And there's another walk by Baker. Wow. The balls and the walks have been numerous here in the early going. Here it is, compliments of the Dennis Yard. That one is high and inside. For the base on balls now, and the Tigers again has got them loaded up for Ada Richards. Richards, ha, last time up, Ada Richards punched one through the infield, got two RBIs on the hit. Swing and a miss by Ada Richards. So let's see now what Richards can do on her second trip to the plate after finding success on her first one. 0 and 1 to Richards. That one is high. Oh, no, it's not. He called it a strike. Wow. Okay, so we got an 0 2 count now on Richards. Bases loaded. Richards. Looking at the 0-2 pitch, it's got to be a good one. Swing and a miss by Ada Richards with the bases loaded, so the Tigers leave three stranded, but still, it's up four zip in favor of the Tigers. We'll be back after you watch this. Introducing Uncle Primo's, where culinary expertise meets passion. Uncle Primo's, where we're crafting outstanding steaks and succulent seafood like never before. Our passion for the perfect dish is unmatched. We take pride in every Italian creation, boasting our lasagna as unbeatable. And our Primo salad, a timeless classic, always fresh, always delicious. Good food and good company, because here we're making restaurant history one dish at a time.
Welcome to Daystar Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Malvern, Ohio, your ultimate destination for automotive excellence. Get behind the wheel of your dreams with our exclusive lineup of top quality vehicles. From sleek sedans to rugged SUVs, we have something for every driver. Explore our wide selection of premium cars and let our expert team help you find the perfect match. Don't settle for ordinary. Upgrade to extraordinary at Daystar Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Malvern. Football there, football there, football everywhere. What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. That's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh, no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, rap. Let the boys play. Powered by Purpose at Kent State University, Tuscarawas. Engineering technology at Kent State Tusk is your pathway to a career in engineering. Our ABET accredited degrees cover many fields, including electrical, electronic, mechanical systems, green and alternative, and integrated engineering technology. Graduates of our bachelor level engineering technology degree programs are eligible to become registered professional engineers in the state of Ohio. Define your own success at Kent State University, Tuscarawas. Lodge and Vision Technologies is a locally owned IT service management group in Winesburg, Ohio. If your small business has technology needs ranging from workstation setups to network management, filtering, and cybersecurity, Lodge and Vision Technologies has the team and experience to create a solution unique to your business. Our goal is to simplify your business by taking the complexity and difficulty out of technology. Contact Lodge and Vision Technologies and experience a true peace of mind with all of your technology needs. And welcome back to uh, Strasburg Franklin Park. We are in the top of the third inning now. The Tigers on top four zip. And the first one into the batter's box for the Rockets will be Ariana Spano. She's the uh, second baseman. And I knew it. This young lady, only a freshman for the Rockets. First pitch. In and tight for ball one. So the Rocket second baseman now. With a 1-0 count now, we'll look at the second offering from Amelia Spidell. Nice pitch. I called that one from way over here. That'll make the count one on one now on the leadoff hitter here in the top of the third for the Rockets. That one is going to be a strike. That'll make it one and two now on the hitter. Ooh, that one is high. That an even account now at two and two. On Spano. And I certainly hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The young freshman. Ooh, gets a call to third strike, so Spidell gets another strike out. So put a K in the book now on that one and here's a look at that call third strike from the center field fence looked okay from here stepping in now is who do we have smooch we got the leadoff hitter ava williams stepping in now against Amelia fidel that one is going to be fouled in front of the big time booth Got to be a strike one now on Ava Williams. I think she swung at the ball and she got part bat and part ball, part hand, I mean. Good cut, good pitch by Spidell to make it 0-2 now. 
We've got one out here in the top of the third inning. We are the big time sports TV guys bringing you big time high school softball action. Nice shot of Spidell there. That one is a foul tip. So Williams working now against Spidell. 0 to the count. So Spidell way out in front of the hitter. Uh-oh, that one is going to get right up the middle. That one goes into center field. That was a nice wrap. Wow, how about that one? Ava Williams with a nice one right up the middle. Let's watch it again. Check out the action. Compliments of the Denison Yard. A bullet, baby. No chance at all for that one. So with one out and one on at first base. Stepping in now will be Braxton Nielsen, the Rocket shortstop. Nielsen shows bunt. Nice bunt. Beautiful bunt. That's a problem. Oh, they called her. They called her safe at first base. Wow. All right, check it out. Good bunt. Beautiful bunt. Put down by Nielsen. Wow, now look at that. Strasburg is, Strasburg is going to stand around and look at it and figure out who to pick it up. So two people on. We got runners at first and second out with only one out. And guess what? The big stick is coming up to the plate. This is Macy Baker. Foul ball. Back and away by Baker to make it an 0-1 count now. Got to be careful with Macy Baker. She swings a good bat as Spidell brings it. Oh, guess what? Spidell just blew it past her there with about a 75-mile-an-hour uh, fastball. 75? Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. 0-2 now on the Baker. Baker with two mates on at first and second. A hit here would be, uh-oh, guess what? There's another hit, that's going into left field. Throw in to the plate and guess what? We got the bases loaded here with only one out in the top of the third inning. So all of a sudden, Kanaten Valley, somebody poked the bear and Kanaten Valley's bats have come alive. There's another hit to left field. Wow. Stepping in now, Madison Kelly, the third baseman. She's got the bases loaded for the Rockets, and only one out, and the Tigers are going to talk about it. On the mound to slow things down a little bit. So the Rockets have chipped away and chipped away, and they have got the bases loaded here with only one out. The Tiger infield is in. And got a big stick up at the plate, Madison Kelly. That one is going to go to right field. That should be. Well, I'm going to tell you what, a little dribbler to right field and they score. Wow. Are you kidding me? Let's watch that one again. Watch it on the replay. This ball goes to right field. It's a, it's gonna go into the corner. And hustling over there now. Oh. All right, so the throw comes in and guess what? We got a four, three ball game now with a three run hit to right field now. 
There's a strike. Delilah Williams grounded out to the second baseman, her last trip to the plate. But wow, a lot of excitement here in the top of the third inning. Three big runs by the Rockets. That one just misses to make it one and one. And we still have only one out. Wow. So the Rockets come alive here in the top of the third. Ooh, a nice cut. Good pitch by Amelia Spidell. That'll make it a one ball, two strike count now on our hitter. So the Rockets swing and a miss for out number two and a big out for Amelia Spidell now. Here's a replay on that last pitch. Compliments of the Denison Yard. Swing and a miss, strike three. Out number two and stepping in now. Delaney Peters looking for her first hit of the ball game. Runner at third. Of course, is that tying run at a 4-3 count here in the top of the third. Spidell needs to set her down and shut off the tap. That runner at third base is a big one at this point in the ball game. Swing and a miss. That'll make it one and one now. Another swing and a miss to make it one and two on the hitter. So Peters now, a one and two count. We at the two outs and a teammate at third base. This is a big this is a bigger pitch for Spidell than it is for our hitter. Uh-oh! Wow! I'm gonna tell you what, it's a good thing Gilkerson climbed the ladder on that one. Wow, watch Gilkerson get up for this one. Wow, I don't even think she knew she had it. She don't. She doesn't get that. We got a tie ball game. Two and two on a hitter, two outs. There's pitch. That one is, a, I called that one from clear over here. So strike three for out number three, but not before the Rockets, baby. Boom, 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 come up with three big ones to make it a four, three ball game. There you see the box score. Compliments of the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Rockets actually with five hits on the ball game. All right, let's now go to one of my favorite times of the game. Let's go to our Dover Dental Group fan cam and take a look at all the Connaught Valley Rocket fans on the other side of the field. So because of the rain and the bad weather, usually there is a little more people here than this, but we still have a good turnout tonight for this Rocket Tiger ball game. Check them out. There you see that some of the Tiger fans under their umbrellas. It's raining right now. Is that why our young friend is standing under our tent? Huh? You know who that is behind you, don't you? That's Mr. Lunaborg. Huh? He's got a daughter who is way out in San Diego with the Padres. Did you know that? Huh? And then his younger daughter, who was down at OU, has a boyfriend who plays for the Wellston Running Rockets, baby. Do I know what I'm talking about? Oh, I don't. She's at Ohio State. Her boyfriend's from Wellston. Okay. Okay. All right. So there you go. So let's check it out. Now 4-3 as the rains start to come down. And uh, the first hitter. Will be uh, Addie Sibilla. Sibilla in her first appearance took a called third strike. So let's see what Sibilla can do now in her second attempt. Tigers jumped out four zipped. Tigers had things going until the Rockets said, uh-uh, baby, not tonight. 
top of the third inning. The Rockets scored three times on the Tigers. So we got a 4-3 contest here. Bottom of the third inning as the rain now starts to come down here at Strasburg. Macy Baker giving up four hits so far in the contest. Oh, tried to hold up. Off the bat. Count now one and one now on our hitter. Many thanks to Dr. Sean Bone and his staff at the Dover Dental Group for taking care of that fan cam you just saw. One one count now. That one is low and away. All right, two and one now on our hitter. Things start to get a little wet, a little slippery out there with the way it's raining. It's a real fine rain. It's not a heavy rain, but just enough to mess things up here a little bit. Two and one to count. to me like he called a ball so that'll make it uh, two and one now three and one on our hitter Sibylla looking for her first hit of the ball game off of Macy Baker Baker giving up four hits so far in the contest along with four runs that one is high so Sibylla will go down to uh, first base on the base on balls Let's check it out again. Look at this pitch. Little high. Send her down to first base. As Watkins will step in now for the Tiger. The Tiger left fielder. Well, there's a bunt attempt that's going to go back to the screen for strike one. with the 0-1 count. Nice bunt. That's a nice bunt. She did what she was supposed to do, and that is get the runner down to second base, so a good sacrifice there by Watkins. Let's watch it again. Compliments of the Denison Yard. That bunt right in front of the plate. Pitcher has to hustle down to get it. First base for the out, but the runner is at second base now for the Tigers. Seacrest, the right fielder, will step in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, can you believe that? I can't believe that. Seacrest down to second base with a stand-up double. The number nine hitter. Wow. She got some bat on the ball, so Seacrest with an RBI double to the center field fence. You see the poke? There it goes, baby, coming right at our center field camera. So Seacrest with a stand-up double and an RBI to make it a 5-3 contest now. Here's our leadoff hitter, Amelia Spidell. That one is low and away for a ball. Baker, that hit to Seacrest is hit number five on the game so far, given up by Baker. Here's the pitch. Spidell is going to send it to left field. That should be an out. I can't see it, but it is an out. Fly ball to deep left field right near the line. Was that in play, or was that foul territory? Okay. All right, so there you see it again. On the fly out. So that'll be two outs now as Riley Becker steps in for the Tigers. Seacrest still 
at second base. Becker looking for her first hit. Looks at a ball in the dirt for ball one. If you just joined us, I'll tell you what, you have missed a lot of action here in the first two and a half innings. A lot of hits, a lot of base runners, a lot of action here in this one. That one is in the dirt, and Seacrest will get down to third base now as she makes the turn at third. The catcher will bring it back now to Macy Baker. Watch the replay now. Baker in the dirt, and again, it looks like a slippy off the hand of Baker. So the count now 2 and 0 on our hitter with the runner at third base and a 5-3 Tiger lead. Don't forget Saturday we'll be back here at Strasburg Franklin Field for the Triway Titans. That'll be a one o'clock start here Saturday and the big time sports guys will be here. Uh-oh, that one, uh-oh. She's gonna get in there and a pass the ball. Wow, a pass the ball is gonna score Seacrest from third base. Here it is on the replay. Yeah, that one uh, high and away. Uh, Seacrest will come across the plate for number six. There's a strike on Riley Baker, so it's three and one now to Becker. You can find Riley Becker in center field for the Tigers. There's ball four, so Becker with two outs will reach first base on the walk. Here's that last pitch. Watch it again, compliments of the Denison Yard. So again, here comes Miss uh, Olivia Spidell. Olivia Spidell is a Tiger shortstop. She's got a strong bat. You don't want to give her anything good to pitch either. So a runner, second base, two outs here. Bottom of the third. That one is low and away. If you just joined us, that first inning took 37 minutes to play the first inning. Wow, that's a long inning. One zero pitch coming from Baker. That one is going to get through. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to go to the shortstop for the force out at second. And that'll be out number three. But the Tigers. Bring another one across on the RBI by Seacrest. So at the end of three, we got ourselves a 6-3 contest. We'll be back after you watch this. Searching for the quality of a nationally recognized Medicare Advantage plan, but seeking the personalized care and service of a local familiar face? Primetime Health Plan is a top performing plan with competitive benefits available right here in your community. Whether you call or meet us in person, our local team will be there to help you find quality coverage and care close to home. Call us today or visit us online at www.pthp.com to learn about our 2024 plans. Altman is here for you, in your community, because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team, joined together, and committed to one mission, to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. We understand the challenges families face today. Insurance can be confusing, and sometimes you're afraid to make the wrong move. Well, the Tuscross Insurance Professionals are here to make it easy. Our trusted staff will walk you through everything you need to know to make your decision easier for you. All our energy, commitment, and efforts are focused on you, the client, for your satisfaction. Learn more and visit tuskinsurance.com or one of our three convenient locations, New Philly, Strasburg, and Sugar Creek. 
Introducing Mount Hope Fence. Elevate your outdoors with our premier fences, beautiful pergolas, and captivating decks. We're your local experts on outdoor transformations, security, style, and serenity. We have it all. Let us bring your outdoor dreams to life. Mount Hope Fence, your space, your sanctuary. 7102 County Highway 77 in Millersburg and 644 Killian Road in Akron. Mount Hope Fence, we have the inside on the outdoors. Hey boss, just reminding you about that leak in the equipment room. It's getting pretty bad. Seriously? Why are you bothering me with that baloney? Me and Umbrella Boss. Protect your business assets with WM Commercial Roofing's Umbrella Care Program. This program will provide you with regular maintenance surveys to extend the life of your roof so you don't end up like this guy. And welcome back to Strasburg Franklin Park. In the top of the fourth inning now, how about a 6-3 count now in favor of the Tigers? Check out the box score. Cannot Valley with three runs, five hits, and one error. The Tigers, six runs on five hits and one error. So I thought there would not be, I thought there wouldn't be five hits in the entire ball game tonight, but that shows you what I know. So we've got five apiece so far with Jenica Frutig. Jenica came up with a big hit her last time at the plate. And you can find her at first base now for the Rockets. 0-2 now, Spidell jumps out way out in front of the hitter. Foul ball. Over in front of the big time sports booth. So the count remains at 0 and 2 now on Fruiting. Uh oh, guess what? An 0 and 2 count, and she's going to knock one into center field. She's going to knock one into center field for another hit. So she's got two hits on the ball, on the ball game, and watch it again. Nothing fancy about this one. Right into center field for another hit for Fruity. So with nobody out here in the top of the fourth inning, that'll bring up Kate Liggett, the DP. Liggett with a teammate on first. First pitch, misses for a ball. Find out. Again, low to make it 0-2 now. So with a runner at first and nobody out and an 0-2 count on the hitter. Smidell has got to bring one. On this pitch. Two and one on the hitter. The throw down to first base, not in time. That one is going to be back off the screen to make it two and two now on the hitter. So Prudy at first base with the nobody out and a two two count now on Liggett. Let's see what Spidel brings this time. Uh oh, uh oh, there's another one. Another hit off of Spidell. Wow. Check it out again as the Rockets continue. There it is. Wow. In the center field again now. So the Rockets with another rally here. Nobody out. Two runners on. 
We're going to have a pinch runner come into the ball game and smooch. What's that lady's name? Her number is number five, and that could be Lillian. No, that's Lillian Booth, yes. Number five, Lillian Booth in at first base now to run. So here we go again as Connaughton Valley is chipping away now at Spidell. Getting the bat on the ball from Spidell. That one is high for a ball. Two on, nobody out. Ariona Spano at the plate. Spano is the freshman. Nice bunt here again. Play is at first base. All right, that time the Tigers executed that bunt a lot better than the last time, but there's the bunt. Reifensteider will go down the line and will get it over to A.D. Richards, the second baseman, covering at first. So with one out now, runners at second and third, and Ava Williams will step in. A three-run dinger, baby! That one was out of here. Wow, I can't believe it. A three-run home run by the Rockets, and I'm gonna tell you what, the Rockets are hot to trot, baby. Wow. Guess what? We got ourselves a dandy here from Strasburg Franklin Park, and if you ever wanna see a home run, this is what you call a home run, baby. Watch this. Williams, uh-oh, uh-oh, watch it. It's even over the car, which is over the fence. That one is out of here. Wow, 6-6 six, six ball game. Still only one out here in the inning, and Spidell will blow one past the hitter. Braxton Nielsen. And it's starting to rain again here in Stroudsburg. Well, there's another hit. Wow. Wow. Here's the replay as the Rockets get another hit. Wow, with the rain starting to come down again, the Connaughton Valley Rockets are hitting the ball. Wow, and I don't know. One out here in the top of the fourth inning. We got a 6-6 ball game. Started out when we came to the plate. Start the inning. It was a 6-3, but guess what? The Rockets have pushed across three runs here in the inning, and there is still only one out. So one off. One out. Macy Baker. Well, you got to be careful. Baker's going to foul one back. Wow. So the count 0-1 now on Macy Baker with a teammate aboard at first base, and we got ourselves a 6-6 ball game with the rain coming down here at Strasburg. That one is high for a ball to even the count now at one. What a ball game, up and down, up and down, just when you think somebody has got a definite advantage in this one. Uh-uh, don't you think that. Wow. Well, the steal to second base. She's in there. There's the steal down to uh, second base now. And the throw. 
not on the mark. Fidel gathered it in to hold the runner at second base, so we got a runner now in scoring position with only one out. Now there's one back to the screen. And the runner now will advance from second to third, so another rocket in scoring position here with one out. Count now, two and two on Baker. Baker is a hitter. Uh-oh, but not this time. Amelia Smidel gets her to go after it for another strikeout. Wow, that one was high and away, and Baker went for it. That'll be out number two now. Madison Kelly will step in. And look out because Kelly hit a big one, her last trip to the plate. Kelly, one for two on the ball game with an RBI to her credit. Stepping in now with two outs. There's a strike from Spidell to even the count at one. The Wayne Garage Door scoreboard shows you what a game it has been at six apiece. That one low and away for a ball. One and one. The count. Two outs. Got a six, six contest here. Well, she went for that one and fouled it into the dirt, so that'll make it one ball, two strikes now on our hitter. Two and two on the hitter now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, guess what? Guess what? Wow. Unbelievable. Another hit for the Rockets. A, a shot into right field is going to score the runner from third. There you see it again, compliments of the Denison Yard replay. Seacrest, the right fielder, will bring it back in. And Connaught Valley now with the lead at 7-6. Delilah Williams at the plate struck out her last trip to the plate looking for her first hit of the contest. That one is fouled back. That'll make the count one and one now. Wow. Who would have believed that the Rockets would pick up seven runs to go ahead in the game? That one's in the dirt. The runner will get down to second base now. So a stolen base by the Rockets, and we got a runner in scoring position. So a hit means a run now, again, for the Rockets. Two and one. Spidell will bring it. That one is low and away. That'll make it three and one now. Runner at second. The two outs. We got a three one count now on our hitter. First base is open. There's a foul ball. That'll make it a full count now at three and two. Let's see what happens now. It's hitter against pitcher with the full count. Well, she got her. Spidell blows it past her for strike number three. The Tigers are out of the inning, but not before the Rockets go up 7-6. We'll be back after this timeout. 
Wayne Door, we are your trusted partner in helping you build your dream home with quality technicians who pay attention to every detail so you won't have to pay costly future repairs. At Wayne Door, we only install high quality products to protect your family for generations to come. We have your whole house covered with garage doors, windows, and more. So choose the team at Wayne Door. People you can trust since 1973. Visit WayneDoor.com for a free quote today. Discover Little Caesars Pizza in New Philadelphia. Indulge in our delectable pizza varieties perfect for pickup or delivery. From classic pepperoni to mouthwatering supreme. Plus, we have wings, crazy bread, and much, much more. Enjoy the convenience and great taste of Little Caesars Pizza. Little Caesars, 539 West High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Bringing you quality and convenience. So don't settle for anything less than the best. Little Caesars. Oak Shadows Golf Club is a premier 18-hole course that will surely bring your group back for another fun round. Oak Shadows offers panoramic views and is suitable for all skill levels. Our bent grass fairways, tees, and greens will offer you a comfortable and enjoyable experience. For your tee time, call 330-343-2426 or at oakshadowsgolf at gmail.com. Hey, other guys, insurance, you got Kyle. Hey, Kyle, it's Brenda. I was just reading through your proposal and I have a few questions. When we drafted up your proposal, we really aimed right down the middle. Sometimes wonder if your insurance agent true priority is more time on the golf course. At Hummel, we do insurance differently. Our expert advisors help you not only mitigate risk, but operate more efficiently, decrease employee turnover, and increase your bottom line. Get ready to race with Action Extreme Sports, the area's largest dealer of KTM off-road sports motorcycles. Whether you are a seasoned veteran or just beginning your off-road adventure, Action Extreme Sports has the bikes, apparel, gear, and parts you need to fuel your passion. AES also carries a full line of ATVs and UTVs. Ready to race with KTM and Action Extreme Sports. And welcome back. We are the Big Time Sports Guys. We bring you Big Time High School Softball, Big Time High School Softball, and a Big Time College Softball and a Baseball. It's raining here in Tiger Town, but guess what? It doesn't matter the Connaught Valley Rockets. The Rockets are up 7-6 on the Tigers here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Gilkerson, the Tiger catcher, will step in to lead things off here in the bottom of the fourth. Baker. It's a called strike, and guess what? All of a sudden, it's an 0-2 count now to the Tiger leadoff hitter. Tigers with five hits on the ball game for six runs. That one is low. That will be a ball to Gilkerson to make it one and two. But Connaught Valley chipped away, chipped away, come up with two big innings now to take a 7-6 lead over the Tigers. The rain again is with us. Well, a little change up, a little off-speed pitch there for ball three. We'll make it a 3-1 count now on Gilkerson. Another pitch off-speed. Center down to first base now, so Gilkerson will lead off the bottom of the fourth for the pass on balls. And here it is again. Compliments of the Denison Yard replay back to the screen. Gilkerson will trot down the first base now. If you walk. Wow, Gilkerson has walked three straight times now in the ball game. So with us now is Miley Reifenschneider. 
Ooh, nice pitch. Right for Schneider, the Tiger first baseman. Looking for her first hit of the contest. Tigers need to push at least one across here. That one is low and away on Reifen Schneider. Got to make it one and one now on the Tiger first baseman. There you get a good shot from our first base camera. And there you see Macy Baker getting ready to deliver. Ooh. 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 Don't know how you can let a pitch like that go past you. But it happens. One and two now on Riven Snyder. Good pitch by Baker. As a roller to second base. The throw is at first, so they'll get the runner at first base, but the runner will now advance to second, and here it is, a slow roller to second base. Good play now, as she just flips it over to first for the out. Tigers with the runner at second now, and one out, and Ada Richards will step in. Richards with uh, one hit and two RBIs in the ball game. Ooh. Called strike on Richards. Well, a bunt attempt will go foul, so that'll make it 0-2 now on Ada Richards. Trying to advance a teammate at second now. Here in the bottom of the fourth. On her toes, make a play, let's go. Macy Baker. That one is outside and away for ball number one to make it one and two now on our hitter. So Reifen Snyder stands down at second base with one out here. One, two pitch. That's a pop up. And the first baseman will come in and make the catch. Out number two. Here's a replay. Just a little pop. Just a little pop down the first baseline. First baseman, no problem with the put out. So with two outs now and a runner at second base. Addy Sibola will step in. Just misses for a ball. Sibola looking for her first hit of the ball game. 1 and 0 count now. As Baker will bring the pitch. High fly ball to right field. This one should be out, and it is. Wow, and how about that one? That's out number three. Wow. I'll tell you what, that was close, but a long out for out number three. We'll be back with more from Strasburg Park after this timeout. Looking for the quality of a nationally recognized Medicare Advantage plan, but seeking the personalized care and service of a local, familiar face? Primetime Health Plan is a top-performing plan with competitive benefits available right here in your community. Whether you call or meet us in person, our local team will be there to help you find quality coverage and care close to home. Call us today or visit us online at www.pthp.com to learn about our 2024 plans. 
not like your average high school. You start with something that you love. Just getting hands-on is way different from sitting in a classroom. Every day is different. You come across a problem, you have to tackle that problem, you have to figure out how to tackle the problem. Skills I've acquired through just my lab in itself have been mind-blowing. Definitely here at Buckeye, they prepare you for any situation that you could go into after high school. Charlie Jones here for Mount Witch Tavern. The very best in steak or pork chops are at Mount Witch Tavern in Strasburg. Served on a sizzling platter to enhance your steak, you will soon agree it's the best. Our pasta with our homemade sauce and succulent seafood are also favorites. Don't be shy, give Mount Witch Tavern a try. I'll see you there soon. This is Dover Break Inc., a legacy spanning three generations at 9670 State Route 250 Northwest in Strasburg, Ohio. Your dedicated brake specialists committed to top-notch truck maintenance. Trust us for unmatched expertise and service. Your safety on the road is our priority. For information on service, parts, and a lot more, log on to DoverBreakInc.com, where generations of excellence meet truck maintenance perfection. I'm Dr. Michele Ayono. At Avancian Athletics, our Fuel Move Recover philosophy can help anyone be their best. Here's what thriving looks like. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. I'm an SMR athlete. From high school to aging well, no one will take care of you and your kids better than us. Introducing Uncle Primo's, where culinary expertise meets passion. Uncle Primo's, where we're crafting outstanding steaks and succulent seafood like never before. Our passion for the perfect dish is unmatched. We take pride in every Italian creation, boasting our lasagna as unbeatable. And our Primo salad, a timeless classic, always fresh, always delicious. Good food and good company, because here we're making restaurant history one dish at a time. Welcome back to the Big Time Sports, a Big Time Softball game. Connaught Valley on top of this one, 7-6, as we begin the top of the uh, fifth inning. And uh, I want to thank our first pitch sponsor, and that is the good guys at Mount Hope Fence. Thank you, Mount Hope Fence. At Mount Hope Fence, they have the inside on the outdoors. First hitter, Delaney Peters. Looking for her first hit of the contest. Steps in, hits from the left side. And pitches high and outside for ball one. Both teams, five and one. Oh, nice pitch. I saw that one from our center field camera. To even account at one now, there's a shot of Amelia Spidell on the mound for the Tigers. Spidell and Gilkerson. Oop, high and outside for ball two. Gilkerson behind the plate for the Tigers. Foul ball, little dribbler over here. Behind at first base. Two and two. Okay. Two and two the count now. Peters with the count even. Well, there's, count, there's a called third strike on Delaney Peters for out number one here in the fifth inning. There's the pitch. Stepping in now with one out, the uh, first baseman, who so far is the MVP of the ball game with two big hits and a couple RBI, Jenica Frudig. Another hit 
for the Rockets. Here's the replay, and I want you to watch this now. This, this is a pop-up. Well, you can't see it. Crap. But anyway, it was easy play, but falls in for the hit. So Frudig with hit number three in the game. Kate Leggett, the DP, at the plate now with a runner aboard. Another ball. One on one the count. Runner at first base the pitch. That one right at Ada Richards. Didn't have to move for that put out. This is right at Ada Richards, the uh, Tiger second baseman. For out number two. Ariona Spano will step in. This young lady, only a freshman. With a teammate at first base, looks at the first pitch, low for a ball. The Rockets up 7-6 here in the top of the fifth. 0-2 the count now on Spano. That one is high for ball one. Two balls and one strike. Foul to back off the screen. For the even to cut now at two. Let's see now if Spidel can blow one past her and get out of the inning. Two outs. Teammate at first. Just misses the corner. That means a full count. So what's going to happen here at first base? Full count. Two outs. She's going to be on her horse. Wow. Strike three to count. Hey, the call. Wow. With the mat on the shoulder for out number three. So we're going to get to the bottom of the fifth inning now with the Tigers down now by one at seven to six. And with that, I want to thank uh, Haas Body Shop in Dover. Does your body have wrinkles? Well, if it does, you want to take them to Haas Body Shop. Give Haas Body Shop a call today. They're on in Dover and convenient and will take care of the wrinkles in your car or truck. It'll look like a new car when they get done with it at Haas Body Shop. So check out the score line, the box score here. Canton Valley with 11 hits in the ball game. Seven, six, Rockets up by one here in the bottom of the fifth inning and Smooch, who do we have coming to the plate here for the Tigers? We got the eight and nine hitters coming in. We got Rayel Watkins, the left fielder. She'll step in to lead things off for the Tigers. Once again, I want to remind you about a big one. Saturday afternoon, right back here to be the Tigers against the Titans of Triway High School. That game is set for a first pitch at 1 o'clock Saturday, and you can watch it right here. Compliments of a big time sports. I want to thank our live stream guy, Josh Al. Josh is with uh, Level. 
excuse me, oh, Get Level Media, sorry, Josh, Get Level Media, who is taking care of our live stream here tonight and will do so throughout the season. So Watkins, that one is low and outside first pitch for a ball. One is high for ball two. On the leadoff hitter, Watkins. Tigers down by one here in the fifth inning. It's getting late. Tigers need runners on the base path. The 2 0 -oh pitch. Fouled back and out of play by Watkins. That'll make it two and one now on the leadoff hitter. Wow, that one is high. No doubt about that one to make it a three one count. Baker with the 3-1 pitch. Wow, nice pitch. Looked right at it. Full count on a hitter. Nobody out here to begin the bottom of the fifth inning. Let's see what Baker brings. Ooh, that one is fouled back. Off the screen to keep things going now for Watkins of the Tigers. Baker. Looks. Wow, that one apparently just missed. Wow, I'm going to tell you what. Whew. Wow, look at this pitch. That was outside. Outside. Just barely outside. That'll send her down to first base and bring up Sophia Seacrest, who the last time up hit a double off the fence in center field. And pushed across an RBI or two. That one is low to Seacrest. Seacrest with a big, big, really big hit. Her last trip to the plate. Watkins at first base. Here's the pitch. That one is a trouble. Guess what? She's in at second base. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? They called her out? Wow. They got her at second base. There, there, there it is off the glove of Baker. Wow. All right, there's the Dennison yard on the replay now. So with a runner at first base, Seacrest with one out. Spidell will step in for the Tigers. That one is going to go to the left field. Should be caught. Is not caught. I, of course, couldn't see the action. But apparently it dropped in there for a hit by Amelia Spidell. Here it is again. Watch it on the replay. She sends it to left field. So Spidell at first now. Teammate at second. And Riley Becker comes to the plate with two on and one out here in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch, strike to Becker. Baker checks her wristband. We'll bring it to Becker. That one is in the dirt. Is he safe?
Wow. Yeah, let's check, let's check that one out. That was close. Check it out now on the replay. So runner at third and a runner at second. Becker with the strike makes it a one-two count now. With one out here in the bottom of the fifth, the Tigers with the two on at second and a third. Seacrest at third, Spidell at second. Here's the pitch. All right, right back to Baker. A good play by Baker to get the runner at first base. Here it is again. Yep. Checked it quick to third, threw it to first. Out number two. So Spidell, the shortstop, will step in. Now this is Olivia Spidell. A hit here will mean will be big for the Tigers. Let's see now what Baker can do now with Spidell. First pitch is a ball. So 1 0 count now with two on board. Bottom of the fifth. Spidell needs a hit. That one is going to miss. Two balls, no strikes now on the Tiger shortstop. Baker. Off speed pitch for a called strike. So two and one now on Olivia Spidell. That one is high. Real high. So that'll make it three and one now. So the Tigers with uh, Amelia Spidell, Olivia Spidell to play. And two outs and two on. Let's see what transpires here. That one is low and away. And she'll get a. Here it is again. Low in the dirt. So uh, Spide Out will go down to uh, first base now. And guess what? The Tigers with the bases loaded now. We have the two outs. Gilkerson will step in. Wow, that win is high. On the first pitch to Ella Gilkerson, the Tiger catcher. So if ever there was a time to get it out of the infield, it is now for Ella Gilkerson. Well, she went after it, foul tipped it back against the screen to even the count now at one. Tigers down 7-6 to the Rockets here in the bottom of the fifth. It's been a cold, rainy game here at Strasburg. That pitch misses the mark to make it two and one now on Gilkerson. Bases loaded, two outs, runner's going to be on their horse. Uh-oh, what's that? That one is to center field. That's going to score two runs. Wow, big hit by Gilkerson, and you talk about a timely hit. Gilkerson punches one to center field to bring two Tigers in to make it an 8-7 contest. Watch the hit now by Gilkerson. Got it through the center field. Center fielder makes a nice play, gets it in quickly to keep the Tigers at two runs on the hit by Gilkerson.
That pitch is high to Miley Reifenschneider. Reifenschneider, the Tigers' first baseman. And on the pitch, of course, the runner advances to second. So with runners at second, third now, and two out, we got a 1-1 one, one count now on Reifenschneider, who took a good cut at that last Baker pitch. Ooh. Called strike on that one. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Two on. Tigers have scored two. Let's see now what Reifenschneider can do with the one-two pitch from Baker. A little dribbler back to Baker. She'll flip it to first base for out number three, but not until the Tigers bring two across to make it an 8-7 contest after five. Let's go to the top of the sixth after you watch this. Discover the perfect blend of reliability and style in the 2024 Chevy Trailblazer at Ferris Chevrolet on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. Our dealership stands as your premier destination for the latest Trailblazer models, each boasting a range of impressive features and unparalleled durability. Don't miss out on the opportunity to secure the best deal. Hurry in today. Visit Ferris Chevrolet in New Philadelphia and experience the thrill of driving your very own Chevy Trailblazer. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, silk screening, and embroidery. Dumont's is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. All of the name brands you love, close to home. That's Dumont's Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team specialist since 1977. Since 1953, Millersburg Tire has carried on the family tradition of selling and servicing your farm and family passenger tire needs. To meet our customers' needs in present day, we built the Red Hanna Tire Building to service big trucks even better. At Millersburg Tire, we sell tires to fit any vehicle and pride ourselves in sales and service. Our motto is simple. If it runs on rubber, we have it for your vehicle. Unleash the champion in you at T-County Boxing Academy. From beginners to seasoned pros, our classes are tailored for every age and skill level. Get ready to jab, hook, and cross your way to greatness with our expert trainers. Join a community where everyone is welcome to embrace the power within. It's not just a workout, it's a journey to a stronger, more confident you. T-County Boxing Academy, where champions are made. Sign up now and step into the ring of endless possibilities. Papa John's garlic sauce fans, this piece is for you. Penny on it, with it. Penny on it, with it. Yo, you might be onto something. Help your athlete play college sports. Get next one. As a father and son duo, we've experienced a costly and stressful recruiting process. That's why we created Next One to save you time and money. Get nationwide exposure to college coaches, scholarship opportunities, and all recruiting tools. No more scattered resources. Connect with coaches faster. Here are real athlete testimonials. That app makes it easier to contact my position coach before and after any college camp that I attend. The Next One Sports app offers easy access to any college information. Try for free at nextonesports.com or download the app today. Two. Welcome back to uh, Strasburg at Franklin Field. The Tigers with two runs in that last bottom of the fifth inning go up 8-7 here in tonight's contest. It's been quite a game, a lot of hits, a lot of runners, a lot of action here tonight on the Big Time Sports TV Network. Leading off for the Rockets is Ava Williams. Nice swing by Williams, but can't connect on a nice pitch from Spidell. There's a shot of Amelia Spidell. 
Tigers now have given her the lead at 8-7. This young lady, uh, oh, guess what? <laughs> Just over the outstretched glove of second baseman, Ada Richards. This one is gonna drop in. And, and wow, yeah, a hit is a hit, baby. So the Rockets with another hit to start the sixth inning. Braxton Nielsen now steps in with Ava Williams at first base. Nice bunt. This one is trouble. Well, they, they got her at first base, but it was a great bunt and a nice sacrifice. Here it is again. This is Braxton Nielsen with a great sacrifice. But look at that later. Right down like she's supposed to. Gets her at first base and back to second base easily. So with one out here in the top of the sixth inning. And a runner at second base. Macy Baker steps in. That pitch is hot for a ball to Baker. Baker likes to swing the bat. You gotta be careful with Macy Baker. So the one ball pitch, ground ball to ground ball to the shortstop, held her at second base. Let's watch it. Ground ball to the shortstop, looks her back, doesn't have time to throw the first base, so. Wow, another error on the Tigers. Wow. For the Tigers. Mm. Runners at first and second now with only one out. Stepping in now, Madison Kelly, the third baseman. One out, top of the sixth. Runners at first and second, and Kelly now. Will step in for the Rockets. There's your shot from center field. And Spidell brings it. Fouled back off the screen for strike one to Kelly. Canaan Valley with only one loss on the season, and that was to Steubenville Big Red. The Tigers lose a game in their Myrtle Beach trip to Northmont. Northmont. And I believe they're from Pennsylvania. Don't know anything about them. Here's the pitch by Spidell. Foul away. Gonna make it 0 and 2 now on the hitter. Spidell. Spidell with an off-speed pitch will miss for ball number one now to make it a one-two count. Well, Canaan Valley will score one run. And we'll have runners at second and third now with only one out. This was a chopper up the middle. Another error for the Tigers. Wow. So the Tigers.
We got an eight-eight ball game. We've only got one out. What's that? Say that again. So it's eight-eight here in the uh, sixth inning, and only one out in Connaughton Valley still getting some bat on the ball, but the Tigers not helping things in the field. Watch now as Delilah Williams steps in. First pitch from Spidell is a call strike. Spidell needs to shut these next two hitters down because she's got <laughs> she got two runners on and only one out in a tie ball game and a count now one and one there's one down the right field and it's going to be out of play down the right side one and two now on our hitter. Let's see what Spidell brings down with a one-two count. Count now even at two. Well, she got a piece of it, but not enough. It's back to the screen, so she's still alive to plate with a 2-2 count now. Been quite the contest. Here I thought we would have five total hits in the game before the game started. And I'll tell you what, both teams hitting the ball all over the field tonight. Well, guess what? We got a full count. 3-2 now on the hitter. First base is open with runners at second and third for the Rockets. Big pitch coming. Got her. Wow, I knew as soon as it crossed the plate, he was going to ring it up. Check it out. Here comes the pitch. Oh. Of course, the replay, compliments of the Denison yard as Delaney Peters now will step in. Two out. Peters looking for her first hit of the ball game. First pitch to strike. Runners at second and third. We are in the top of the sixth. Uh oh, that one is high, and they're going to even things at one. Both starting pitchers still on the job. Amelia Spidell for the Tigers and Macy Baker for the Rockets. That pitch is going to miss. Got to make the count two and one now on Delaney Peters. There you see the runner down at third base. With two outs. Spidell brings it. Foul ball back and away now. To even account at two and two. Big time sports, bringing your big time high school sports and softball and baseball college sports. Thanks to our agreement with Mount Union University. That one is high and away, and guess what? Three, two. Got another full count. A lot of pitches tonight by both of these starting pitchers. Wow, how about
about that one. I'll tell you what, she needed that one. A called third strike from Amelia Spidell is gonna squelch the rally, 8-8. Eight, eight. Wow, we're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Stay right there, we'll be back after you watch this. Welcome to PAC Oil Drilling, your local energy partner. Embrace the benefits of domestic oil production with us. We pride ourselves on safe and environmentally responsible practices, ensuring minimal impact on Ohio's beautiful landscape. Our dedicated team is committed to meeting energy demands while preserving nature's beauty. PAC Drilling is a big supporter of high school athletics and academics. We wish our athletes the very best on the field and in the classroom. It's not easy caring for an aging parent. At Ember Complete Home Health Care in Eurexville, we can help you full time or just a few hours a week. We can develop a customized care plan. Call 740-922-6888 or learn more at embercomplete.com. Spring into savings at Parkway CDJR. We are offering the lowest prices of the year. Lease a 2024 Grand Cherokee for only $339 for 39 months. 2024 Jeep Compasses starting at only $269 a month. If a Dodge Ram is in your plans, then a 2024 Crew Cab Tradesman is only $329 for 42 months or take $12,000 off MSRP. All remaining 2023 models will be sold at dealer employee pricing. Get to Parkway CDJR today for your best selection and the absolute best price. We all have something in common. 206 things, actually. And we at Cleveland Clinic care about every single one of them. From the tip of your finger to a brand new hip. Ohio's best orthopedic care will keep you going while keeping you safe. For every break and breakthrough, for every bone and joint. For every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic. Get the care you need when and where you need it. Visit clevelandclinic.org slash access. Wendy's breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. This squared. Egg and cheese biscuit and sausage biscuit. Two biscuits. I'm impressed Tyler knew what squaring was. Math Lutz. No matter what you call it, choose wisely. Choose Wendy's breakfast two for three. Wendy's breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. This squared. Egg and cheese biscuit and sausage biscuit. Two biscuits. I'm impressed Tyler knew what squaring was. Math Lutz. No matter what you call it, choose wisely. Choose Wendy's breakfast two for three. We are farmers. And we are back. We are in the bottom of the sixth inning. Uh, Tiger second baseman, Ada Richards. They'll step in to lead things off for the Tigers. Ada with a big hit in the first inning to her credit. One for three on the game against Macy Baker. First pitch is low to Richards. There's a hit. Oh, no, it's right at her, baby. I thought it was going to drop, but it did not drop. It went right at the right fielder. So check it out on the Mount Hope fence. Defense, baby. Watch it now. Boy, she got it. She wrapped it. I thought it was going to drop, but it was right at the right fielder for out number one. Thank you. Mount Hope fence defense. There's a foul ball down the third base line. This is Addie Sibola at the plate now for the Tigers. Check out the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. Bottom of the sixth. She's all tied up. Nice pitch. All strike to make it 0 and 2 now. On Sibola. Right 
Both teams looking for win number six uh, on the season. And both teams, only one loss on the season. One to the count now on Sibylla. Baker brings it. That one is going to be high in the even account at two. On Sibylla. Abby Sibylla, the Tiger third baseman. Step back in now against Macy Baker. Ground ball to the shortstop. Throw over to first base. Uh, put that one down 6 3 for out number two. Here in the sixth. Here it is again. Here's the Denison Yard replay. Ground ball to shortstop. Nice pickup. Good throw over to Frutig at first base. Stepping in now is Watkins. There's a strike from Macy Baker. First pitch to the Tiger left fielder. That one is an off-speed pitch that is going to miss the mark and even the count at one. Low and away for ball two now. Watkins looking at a 2-1 count from Macy Baker. Won't be too much longer. We got to name our Clars XL screen printing player of the game. Yeah, that one apparently just missed to make the count three and one. And of course, we'll bring that to you in our Union Hospital Cleveland Clinic wrap up show. But she's not over till it's over. A lot of action remaining yet here at Tiger Field. The pitch by Baker. Foul ball off the screen. We got a full count, Smooch. All right, we got a full count. Watkins battling Baker. Two outs here. Bottom of the six. Swing and a miss. Strikeout. Put another K in the book for Macy Baker. No so two outs here. Bottom of the sixth inning. That's it. Three outs. All right. We'll be back. Top of the seventh. After this, time out. Come to Sam and Sue's Barbecue. Located at 237 West Front Street, Dover, with a full service bar. We offer carry out, catering, and a dine in area. We do take reservations Monday through Wednesday. It's the best for me and you, Sam is Barbecue. Our barbecue is true barbecue. We smoke all of our own meats in house with our homemade rubs and match it perfectly with our sweet barbecue sauce. Come and see us soon. Hello, my name is Nicole Zeziger, the president of the First National Bank of Denison. I'd like to start by thanking you for your business and entrusting the First National Bank of Denison with your financial needs. On behalf of our 74 employees, we are proud to be part of this community and look forward to serving you every day. It is our passion to provide you an exceptional customer experience, both in the branch and on your electronic devices. On behalf of everyone here at the First National Bank of Denison, we truly appreciate you. Hey, other guys, insurance, you got Kyle. Hey, Kyle, it's Brenda. I was just reading through your proposal and I have a few questions. When we drafted up your proposal, we really aimed right down the middle. Sometimes wonder if your insurance agent true priority is more time on the golf course. At Hummel, we do insurance differently. Our expert advisors help you not only mitigate risk, but operate more efficiently, decrease employee turnover, and increase your bottom line. 
If you're looking for a great place to take your gang before or after the game, you gotta try the yard in Denison. Treat your family to the very best in pizza or pasta or salad. It's delicious. So don't be shy, give the Denison Yard a try. Enjoy good food and good times at the yard. Altman is here for you in your community because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team joined together and committed to one mission to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. All right, let's go to the top of the seventh inning now. Check out the Wayne Garage Door scoreboard. The Rockets with eight runs on 12 hits and one error. The Tigers with eight runs on seven hits and three costly errors. So let's check it out now here in the top of the seventh Ready inning. And Jenica Fruity will step in and Fruity has had a real good day at the plate with three hits in the ball game. This is the Rocket first baseman. With three hits and a couple RBIs for the Rockets. Foul ball. On that pitch off the screen. That'll make it one and one now. On Fruity. Spidell looks. Spidell will bring it. Foul ball in the dirt. Now they make it one ball and two strikes now on the Rocket first baseman. They bring the ball in. Find out. Back to the mound now with a one-two count on the hitter here to start the top of the seventh. Another foul ball to keep the count at one and two. Wow, what a ball game this has been. Up and down, up and down for both teams. And here we are in the last inning. Two and two now on Fruity. Looking for hit number four. Well, little dribbler down to second base. Ada Richards will pick it up. We'll throw it to first baseman Reifensnyder. So score that one four, three for out number one. Here's the pitch by Spidell, little dribbler. It jammed her. That pitch jammed her off the inside of the bat. And an easy put out at first base. So Smooch, who do we have now? We've got Kate Liggett, the DP, at the plate. That one is low. For ball one to Kate Liggett. Little chopper off the plate. Count now at one, one and one. 